Hi and welcome back to TechRemes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic calendar like this one in Microsoft Excel 365 with just one function. I will show you how to highlight the current date and hide the dates that are not part of the month with a formula. So if at any point you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to it. Open a new worksheet, click on cell D6 and type Sunday for the days of the week. Use autofill to fill for the rest of the days. Center align them and bolden them. Give them a fill color of orange and all borders. Now, at the top of the days, select the first three cells, merge and center them, give them bold formatting and all borders. This is where the year will be, so let's type year for now. Give it a fill color of dark red and font color white. Now, select the next four cells, merge and center them. This is where our months will be, so let's type months for now. Press Ctrl Enter, bolding it and give it a fill color of green and font color white. Now, select the columns, under the home tab, click on format and click on column width. Type 4.5 for the width and press Enter. Under the days, select 6 rows and 7 columns for the week. Give them a fill color of gray. Click on the border drop down, go to the line border and select white color. Now click on it and click on all borders. Repeat the same process and this time around select black color and then click on outside borders. We are now ready to insert our dates into the calendar. Now, here, type the months starting from January. Use autofill for the rest of the month. Give them a name for easy reference. So, with the cells highlighted in the name box, type a simple name like months. So, in our worksheet, months refers to the range of cells containing the months. Now, click on the month cell here. Go to the data tab and click on a data validation. In the allow field, select list in the source field type equal to and then the name you give to your months in my case month then click on ok so now we have a drop down of the month to select from let's give a year like 2020 now we have to get the value of the first day of each month a year we select so in this cell use the date value function open bracket and type one in quotation representing the first day and then end sign to concatenate and then the month cell reference concatenate and then the year cell reference and press enter now this is the date value in excel for first august 2020 if i change the format to short date you will see the date first august 2020 now in our calendar in the first day cell we now type the function that will generate the dates for us. Type equal and then sequence. The first argument is the number of rows to cover, which is 6. And the second argument is the number of columns, which is 7 for the days of the week. Now the start is the first day of the month, which is in so B3 minus the weekday. Use the weekday function, then B3 comma the return type one thus sunday being the first day of the week close the brackets then plus one then one for the days to increase by one and press enter now highlight the cells press ctrl plus one click on custom and type d then click on ok now the next thing i'm going to do is to add conditional formatting because I want to make the dates that do not belong to this month in a lighter color. With this area highlighted, go to conditional formatting and add a new row. Click on use formula to determine which cell to format. So I'm going to go with month, then the first date, but we need to take away the dollar signs because we want this to be flexible. We want it to look at each date and not at the date just sitting in D7. So not equal to months of the day the first day that's in b3 we want this to be fully fixed 
now let's go and format this to be a light color so just the font i'll go with this one click on ok ok and now it looks better when i change the month these dates are light now the final thing i want to do is highlight the current date on the calendar so go to conditional formatting and add a new rule use a formula to determine which cell to format so if this cell remove the dollar signs equals today's date using today function click on format and select a fill color of gray click on ok and then the current date is highlighted so every day the highlight changes to the current date lastly highlight these cells merge and center them bold it and give it all bodies type my calendar now right click on these columns and hide them go to the view tab and uncheck the grid lines box my calendar is now fully interactive and it updates automatically you can use the same formula in google sheets it's great to have you here thank you for watching till the end don't forget to thumb up before you leave please subscribe if you haven't and i'm going to see you in the next video